We know many of you suffer damage as it relates to Hurricane Ida, and because of this, the Orleans tax assessor and other parishes have announced some relief. Some relief. As of September 24th, the parish assessor announced a 5% reduction on all residential property taxes. Our CPA, Kimberly Washington, she joins us live to explain how the program works. Kim, thanks for joining us. What should homeowners know about this? So this program, just as you mentioned, will slash 5% off of your assessed value at the tax assessor's office. If you're someone who's listening and say, hey, my property was severely damaged as relates to Hurricane Ida, you can contact the assessor's office and request more. But keep in mind, you do have a limited amount of time to do so. And what can someone do if they'd like to request additional relief while also recovering from this hurricane? The first thing they want to do is gather photos, documents, anything that can prove the decline in value or the damage that they had as it, re as it relates to the Hurricane Ida. They also want to make sure they go to the website and download the form so that they can have that form available and just complete it and make sure they take care of what's needed so they can provide that information to the tax assessor's website. Okay. Well, do homeowners in, other, in any other parishes qualify for this property tax reduction? The answer is yes, it's not just here in the Orleans Parish, but also if you reside in Plaquemines Parish or also Jefferson Parish too as well, you can contact your assessor's office and during this time from until October 13th, you can request for a reduction in your assessed value. You just need to bring your information to the assessor's office as well. And what's the deadline for, the, for Orleans Parish and how can someone apply for this? So here in Orleans Parish, you have until October 7, and you have two ways you can provide that information to the Orleans Tax Assessor's Office. Number one, you can drop it off in person to City Hall or also across the river, the Eldridge Courthouse, rather. And the second place you can do is you can actually mail it to the City of New Orleans, and they do have the address available to you on the website and here at WDSU. But that's two ways you can provide that information. But again, you want to do it as soon as possible because time is running out October 7. And keep in mind, a reduction in your assessment, of course, reduces the amount of taxes that you will need to pay. All right. Any relief is good, especially for homeowners after this storm. Thank you so much for the valuable information, Kim. We appreciate it.